Lord, let me clutch my pearls and gather myself. Now y'all have never actually heard me start a video like that, so y'all already know it's about to get What's up y'all, it's your girl Aston Shanae, welcome back to The Juice. Now child, is so much messiness, I really don't even know where to begin. So I think I'll start with some light work and work my way on up to Nikki and Remy Ma. So first up, we have Cat Stacks versus Mariah Lynn. Well really, it's more like Cat Stacks versus herself I guess. She was throwing a little shade towards Mariah Lynn, but I still haven't seen anything that Mariah Lynn has said to her yet. But anyway, take a look. Yo, why is this retarded white bitch Mariah making videos calling me a nigga? Like, bitch, I don't give a fuck if you don't love hip hop, you're still not black. Do not call me a motherfucking nigga in your videos towards me. I don't give a fuck if the producer of love and hip hop is black. I don't give a fuck if your ghostwriter who writes your lyrics is black. Bitch, do not use the word nigga when you're talking to me. And I don't give a fuck that you say you're 50 or 75% Puerto Rican. Bitch, you were still born in the United States. You're still white. And Puerto Rico is part of the United States. You don't even need a passport to go to Puerto Rico. Because last time I went, all I needed was an ID. <laughs> so, bitch, you need a passport to go to my country. Because I'm from Venezuela and half Trinidadian. See, this is what happens when you keep giving these white hoes too much power in the hip-hop culture. Not hoes talking about nigga this and nigga that. No, bitch. Don't play with me. Child, let me clutch my pearls and gather myself. Now, let me be clear. I'm not clutching my pearls because of what she said about Mariah Lynn. I'm clutching my pearls because Kat must have forgotten what she said herself. Do y'all remember that video I posted before of Kat Stacks calling Miami promoters the N-word? Well, I do. And in case y'all forgot, take a look. You know what? I got something to say. Why y'all groupie ass niggers? Yeah, I said niggers. Y'all wanna be groupies with motherfucking Cardi B. Guess what? The bitch ain't gonna fuck y'all. The bitch charges over 10000 per show. So she doing it for free for y'all. And y'all over here dissing me over a new bitch on the block who's gonna leave the next day. And guess what? The bitch going to New York and I'll still be in Miami or Atlanta. So you dissing me for a motherfucking tourist because y'all some motherfucking groupies. Guess what? I fuck Mazzy. I fuck CO Shake and he paid me. And I fuck most of the motherfucking promoters in Miami, bitch. So y'all motherfuckers want to try me over a new bitch that ain't fucking y'all? Guess what? Ain't none of y'all motherfuckers getting y'all dick sucked no more. I don't give up about y'all money. And I don't give up about nothing you motherfucking offer. Well, y'all know I mind my business, but I just want to say this. Cat Stacks knew she couldn't touch Cardi B coming off that Love and Hip Hop NY reunion. So I guess she decided to target Mariah Lynn. But the bad part is, even Mariah Lynn was ignoring her. Now, you know it's bad when Mariah Lynn ignores you. Especially when y'all are basically the same person. Moving on. Child. Earlier today, Nikki called herself doing a lot of shade throwing and sneak dissing at Remy Ma on a verse on Gucci Man's new song. But what she didn't know is that Remy had a whole diss track waiting on her. Child, she must have had it ready ever since she got out of prison. And of course, with Instagram being as messy as it is, everybody ran over to Nicki Minaj's page. And instead of Nicki posting her own diss track back to Remy Ma, she posted the facts about Remy Ma's low album sales. It says, Powered by the Platinum Certified All The Way Up, Remy Ma and Fat Joe's joint effort, Plato Ploma, debuts disappointedly at number 44 on the SPS count. Its combined numbers on that chart came in at 11,158. As for the project's pure sales debut, that figure sat at a shocking 7,978. And with Nikki being the sneak disser that she is, she just posted, yikes, and left it at that. Okay, and people on Instagram were still getting on Nikki for not doing the diss track, so she posted this to her Instagram. Take a look. I met this girl named Nikki, I guess you could say she was the rap queen. I met her in the studio lobby, but her booty looked bigger in the magazines. She said, B, will you 
jump on the song of mine. How could I resist when I heard little Nicki rhyme? As you can see, it's a video of Beyonce singing to Nicki saying that she is the queen. But y'all, what does that matter? But anyway, that's not where it ends. In Remy Ma's diss track, she hints at the fact that Nicki Minaj and Trey Songz slept together. So Trey Songz went on Twitter and says, Even when you stay out of the way, they will have your name all in some poop. Wake up to new comedy every day. Focus. But that wasn't good enough for Nicki Minaj. Because she then goes to her Twitter and basically attacks Trey Songz. She says, LOL, what you should be saying is that it's not true. Seeing as it's not, real ninjas do real things. Done got you six million plaques. Mm -mm. Not a little shade, but a lot. But wait, there's more. Trey Songz comes right back at her and says, you need to be mad at Remy Nikki. Then he says, because if you check my Instagram feed, I already denied it on video, so words didn't get misconstrued. So then Nikki comes back again and says, you shouldn't have posted something indirect in the first place. Ninjas out here indirectly lying on they D now. Bless your heart. Then Trey Stones comes back again and says, I didn't post anything indirect. I gathered an understanding of events and then spoke my piece. You just mad. I still love you. Child, now Nikki doing all that, coming after Trey Songz, but still didn't breathe a word to Remy Ma. Okay, so after all that, Trey Songz releases this video, basically saying, "Keep me out of y'all mess." Take a look. Hey, what's up? Just gonna give y'all my little two cents off the rip. Now that I got myself together, uh, I got respect for Nikki. Uh, me and Nikki didn't work together. I got respect for Remy. Uh, but no matter what you heard, I ain't never had sex with Nicki. I'm saying out the way. It's hip hop, it's entertainment. I'm a fan of both artists. But like I said, ain't nothing ever went down with me and Nicki. So y'all kill that shit right now. Okay, so then things cool down on Instagram for a good hot five minutes. And a guy who's a producer, I guess, says, Okay, on my mama life, I wrote this song for Nicki Minaj with two other writers. I will not reveal their names. Inside of Nicki's studio, I have video and everything to prove this. Safari from Love & Hip Hop Hollywood told us Nicki didn't like this song. I'm clearly blindsided that Nicki even picked this record up. Yo, we need to talk. Time is money, and I spent seven days in that studio writing for you. By the way, just because you switched a couple of words don't mean nothing. Mm -hmm. So basically, this guy is out of Nikki for the same thing that Meek Mill started that whole beef with Drake about. Now, if that wasn't bad enough, then Kmart, yes, Kmart, goes on Twitter and tweets, due to a dramatic decrease in sales, Nicki Minaj's clothing line will soon be discontinued. Items are now 50% off. Now, at first, everybody thought that was a fake tweet. So, the real Kmart still came back and tweeted basically the same thing. They said, we're sad to see Nicki leave us too. So, not only did Remy come out with a fire diss track against Nicki, but she also fell out with Trey Songz and blocked me on Instagram. But we ain't gonna talk about that. And got exposed by this producer for not paying him for the song that he wrote for her and Kmart. Yes, Kmart dropped her all in one day. In one day. Now, if that ain't a bunch of messiness, I don't know what is. Child, let me clutch my pearls and gather myself. Now, y'all know I mind my business, but I just want to say this. Nikki, you might better call Safari. Because that ABC123 rapping that you doing right now ain't going to get you nowhere in this rim and my beef. And child, she might need to find her a pastor to throw some holy water on her. Just so she can wash some of Meat Mill's L's away. Moving on. Well, I'm definitely going to need you guys' opinions in this situation. Because y'all know I don't get other people's business like that. Well, we're about to be out of here. But before we go, we want you guys to leave us a like. And remember to subscribe to our channel for the juiciest gossip commentary around. And don't be shy. Leave us your opinions in the comments. Good, bad, or indifferent. I love them all. And with that being said, you guys, we are out of here.
Is she gone?